two, one, Linmar, 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 Linmar. Linmar, Linmar. Well, Linmar, we are Linmar. we are live, so. Linmar, Linmar, Linmar. Linmar. <laughs> we just chant Linmar before we start a new game. <laughs> Linmar, Linmar, Is that the new Linmar. cult? Linmar, 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 Linmar. <laughs> Take it away, Peggy. Okay. So when we first le when we were left off at uh Lilith was oh Jesus Christ. Uh Lilith was getting her ass whooped by a monk. Excuse me, actually. Very accurate. Very accurate, yes. <laughs> yes. Took us a while to get there. But I literally came with the guy. And then the guards came with the guy as well, I guess. And then, oh, it was Carnegie. The guy is Carnegie. But um, yeah, they apprehended everyone. And then they thought that she was like they. The guards were like, she looks like. Well, they were acting like she was overreacting because they were like, child labor is great. Our child is. <laughs> Oh, I don't want that to be taken out of context. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's gonna have to because I only wrote down five things. So we got put up in a cell. Well, we were put in a cell and we were cell buddies with Carnigan and the monk guy. Not and cell then... buddies. Close. Oh. Well, Sildar was in there somewhere. And not in the cell, though. He was not in this. That would be illegal. Um, we <laughs> learned about the Exosia Inquisition. That was they were hired by them, which is a group of like sort of magi magic people that were being that like to you know be people and not like other things, except when it benefits them. And then oh yeah, it literally just says it right down there in Mage Guild. Oh, <laughs> what about okay? Um, what else is there? We were let out. Um, we were all interrogated. Lilith did most of the talking. Uh, oh, we got the girl. We got the girl. We got the girl. <laughs> uh, yeah, and yeah, kind of, like, no. Well, mm, yeah, and Lilith are stupid because she was like, what are you doing? Why do you bother knowing where we live? Lilith is stupid. Uh, she's not yeah, stupid. No, she's hot headed. Her, so you're stupid too. I'm playing her the way she should be played. Go fuck yourself. No, no, that was that was really be smarter. Somehow Lou has more strength than us, and she's not the assassin. Like, mm. what's happening? <laughs> I just felt getting salty like the ocean or whatever that is. You're the one who's being salty, you dumb piece of ass. Because you're being stupid. You're not even. Uh, welcome, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> that is my introduction. Thank you very much. Thank you. Stupid you, didn't that Thank that you. you didn't even complete it. <laughs> I mean, when it went up to our house, uh -huh. it went up to home. And then, like, she fell asleep. That was it. Okay. Right? <laughs> okay. Was that not it? Did you say anything about the deals that, uh, what happened afterwards? Whenever you guys were in prison? No. <laughs> I think it was perfect. <laughs> when do you, I have Jeff. classes tomorrow, guys? That's the dumbest yeah. fucking thing I've ever heard. Yeah, but, but it's no. Labor Day. It's I Labor know, right? Day. Hey, but I get a full week for Thanksgiving, so. Nice. Uh, yeah. I don't. We're, I get three days. Gonna... Anyways, sorry for interrupting. What the hell was that? That was my brother. Oh, I was finished. <gasps> brother. Yes. The guy who's never coming back because he's more interested in League than this. I will never Yikes. meet him. All right. Uh, we're again with music. I'm still doing other things. Music. Music. Uh, is this it? <clears throat> Excuse Burp. me, guys. I'm sorry. Pardon. That was rude. Burp. How incredibly rude of me. That's okay. 
Yay, everybody, we're yeah, back. All right. Uh, Lilith, the girl slept in your room, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, she did. Okay, I can't see you nod, Michelle. I'm not watching Discord. Okay, well. <laughs> um, all right. So, as you wake up, Lilith, uh, you see the... Hello? Hi, Remy. Hi. Hi, Remy. Was it, didn't you she okay? sleep in... I, I have no idea. Didn't she, <laughs> didn't she sleep Lilith. in the rooms? No, she slept, she slept in my room. Lilith. It was you? Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I wrote down blue in my notes. Oh, well. All right. Lilith, as you wake up, you do see the girl just wandering around your room, picking things up. Just looking at them, looking outside the window, just, you know, just mindlessly wandering around. It looks like uh, she's woken up a lot earlier than you, and she was just bored, but then she didn't want to go out because she didn't know uh, if she was allowed. Oh. Um. So I just woke up. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, is just gonna sit up and then stretch and look at her, and then she'll, um, uh, I guess think of a image of, like, Lilith just, like, waving to her. <laughs> oh, wait, Lilith can fucking wave! I'm sorry! Gosh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yes. Michelle trying to do a girl voice, yes. There we go. <laughs> Thinking back on the conversation on whether Lilith or Michelle. Well, that wasn't me. <laughs> that was me being dumb. Oh. <laughs> That's just a little. Mm. I don't know. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. No, huh? Tired. <laughs> um. Yeah. So Lilith is gonna wave at her. And she sees you and she just, you know, gives you a slight little smile and waves back. Lilith is gonna get up and then walk outside. Okay. Is anyone else up yet? That's up to them. No. Is anyone else up? I've probably been up with Reverend. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I would I would have I would try to like wave over the little girl as well. Is she following me? And she cautiously starts leaving the room, just looking you know, left and right before stepping out of the room and just slowly walks up to you, but keeping a respectable distance between between you and her. Yeah. Was the music too loud? No, no good. you're good. Okay. How was it? Well, she was up earlier than I was, and uh, it's sad. She's really cautious about everything, which is understandable, seeing as what she's been through, but it's still sad to see. Caged animal is always cautious after being released for the first time. It'll take a while, but I'm sure she'll get used to it. Hopefully. Is anyone else up yet? No. I haven't seen anybody yet. That I can was... still hear Vati snoring. Well, I'll go wake up Blue. Guess I'll get Vati. Uh, yep. we'll start with Lilith and Blue first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lilith is gonna <laughs> knock on Blue's door. Blue? What time is it? Yeah. It's morning. Too early. <laughs> we usually wake Come up in the morning. Come back during business hours. What? Come back <laughs> during business hours. What are business hours? Uh... <laughs> 
Well, it's time to get up. Uh, you hear it. She just opens the door. See, that okay. wasn't so hard. Sure, I guess rolling off bed isn't hard. I guess, if that's what you do. Uh, go get ready, I guess. Shuts the door again. Okay. Then I guess it's Lidmore's turn. <laughs> Raul? Sorry, Q entered into my room. But yeah, uh, we're yeah. going to uh, Linmar. <clears throat> no response, I'll open the door. I didn't hear you knock, honestly. Oh yeah, I didn't oh. hear you knock either. <laughs> yeah, I, let me do this again. <laughs> Such a quiet knock, Jesus. Yeah. It was a quiet knock. Be a man about it, Lindmar. Did you oh. still not hear it? God. No, I know I heard it. It was oh, just really, literally. really quiet. I'm, I'm teasing you. Go ahead. Go, go, go. Well, I'm waiting for you to go because it just knocked. <laughs> no, I'm still sleeping. I'll open the door. You, you see Vati <clears throat> like halfway on, off the bed. Like his arm and leg are hanging off the side. <laughs> Hmm. I'm gonna look at Reverend and point at Vadi's head. <laughs> Reverend just Reverend just kind of like looks at you and looks at Vati. And then he flies over to Vati's head and just sits on it. Uh, <laughs> ha, what the hell? Reverend flies back up. Lindmar, get that damn thing up. Good morning. Uh, oh, my. What time is it? Um, mm. Good question. Probably breakfast time. Oh, did you. We're gonna go out and eat? Or what? I oh, don't have food here yet, so that's kind of our only option. Alright. You got me this time? Did, what'd you say? You got me this time. <sighs> sure. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm good enough then. Alright, we'll be outside. <laughs> Poor man Vati. The oldest in the group, but can't pay for himself. Yeah, I'll walk back outside and close the door behind me. We need to get Vati a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's today's session. Get the fuck off your chair, old man. <laughs> what would he even work as? I mean, he is a musician. Do you think Rista so could hire him? Oh, I don't know. I think he did that, like, one night when he was here. <laughs> Just... If we're gonna be staying here a while, which... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting a little cooped up. That's true. We'll just... <sighs> have to wait. We're trying to find out more about the... The tiefling. Do you know where she came from? Uh, I'll point to the little changeling girl. I can make several guesses. She is, um... Definitely Fey. So she could be from the Fey Wild. Which is where? Ugh, that's a difficult question. Um Not here. But closer than you might think. Lilith well, is just gonna describe. give him a look. Like, what What are you talking about? Kind of hard to describe. I don't know a whole lot about it. Imagine there's, like, a door. And most days you could open the door and find a street on the other side. 
But then one day you open the door and it's not a street, it's a building. And then you close the door and you open it again and it's the street again. It's like that. The That's... Feywild can be here, but it is currently not. That sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not an easy topic. So... Do we... Do you know how to get there? <sighs> I've been trying to figure that out for a while. I don't know. <laughs> but I can try again. Okay. You want to take her back there? If that's her home. All right. We'll make that our goal. As you guys are talking, uh, you've noticed that the little girl has just been there, sitting in the middle of the room, not really knowing what to do, just looking around as you guys move around. We're not getting any, like, senses of fear from her, are we? No, she's, she's just... What you're sensing from her is that she's, like, completely lost at what she's doing. Mm -hmm. Or what you're doing. You know, it, it's kind of like being uh, in a foreign country where you don't know what they're saying, you don't know what their customs are, you're just like, you know, don't want to do anything. Mm -hmm. And fear that, you know, it might anger them. Mm -hmm. Remind me, what did we do with Droop and Belldrop? They... Warning! Ugh. Droop, for the last time, you cannot sneak up on me like that. I've been behind you the whole time. Is that true? I'm looking at Lilith. Well, how was I supposed Bell to know us? Bull drops also there. I wasn't really no, paying attention. He just, he just came in. Thank you, Veldrop. I can depend on you. Alright, well. As you guys can see... Anyway, I'm pretty sure you've already met- God, I can't remember at the end of last session. Pretty sure you've already met our new friend here. Um, yeah, we met her at the last session. Hmm. What's a session? I don't know, you said it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something intelligent. And now I can't remember. That's me. Intelligent. That's funny. <laughs> wow. All right, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> you just slam Hi, open buddy. the door. Hey, Drew, how you doing? I'm okay. Well, Drop and I were about to go to uh, Dublin's and get some food. I'm oh. paying for her. And he kind of winks at, her, at you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, Vont is paying for me. You're paying for yourself? <laughs> You're paying for yourself? <laughs> what? Just, dude, did you hear what you said? What? You, you said, said Vont is paying, paying for, me. for me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You're paying for yourself? Oh, no, I mean Lindmore. Sorry. I'm a, I'm a little tired. Oh, okay. That, ma that makes a lot more sense. You don't really have a bunch of money, do you? No, not really. I was just talking about that. Do you think you want to find um, a good source of income? There's a lot of things that this town needs, really. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll look around, see if anyone's willing to pay up for anything. You know, I mean, I'll do that today. It might be a fun thing to do. I'm trying to remember, what were we supposed to... Is there anything we're supposed to be doing? Oh. Uh, tracking down Caius and the other guys, and then... Yeah, okay. Easier said than done. Yeah. Um, can I look out the front window? window or not the front window, but the balcony window, Ryle? Yeah. Um, how far into the town can we see? You can see we're all up on the town. A... Cool. Is the circus gone? The circus is indeed gone. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go get some food 
And then... Oh, 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 I, I forgot to say it, um... If you guys leave again, I was going to help Bell Drop move in and, like, pick, her, pick up her uh, book supplies for the library. So we might be, like, going out and getting it and just waiting and, yeah. That would be perfect. That's very kind of you, Droop. <laughs> I am kind. Drip, do you need money for that? I don't know. Belldrop actually goes up to you and she says, uh... Is she kind of, like, motions for you to go down? To, like, kneel down to her height? I'll kneel down. And she whispers in your ear. Don't worry, I will watch him. And I may need five gold. Perfect. I will hand her five gold. And, and I'll hand her six gold. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Stand back up. Where's Blue? I mean... She's... Yeah, are you roboting? I don't know. Am I? Not right I... now, you aren't. Maybe Peggy was roboting for a moment. Oh, uh, must be our internet. Oh, I just scratched my eyeball. I'm here. Alrighty. I guess we'll go down to Toblins. <gasps> oh, I'm dying. You're right okay, we'll water. meet you there. We'll go ahead. And Droop leaves before you guys dragging Belldrop with him. You see that Droop's like running, and it's kind of like that thing where Droop is uh, holding Belldrop's wrist, and Belldrop is just getting dragged along. And she like, looks back at you like, why? <laughs> why me? <laughs> oh, poor Belldrop. How old is Belldrop exactly? Well, She's just four... asking the general group. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey. Don't think we asked that. Don't think that was one of our questions. You didn't. Can I try to gauge her age based on her looks? You would probably be the only one of us to know, considering you're from. Sure, sure. The since you place. since you did come from the Danadari and you've been a lot with a, uh, you you've seen some kankus. Mm-hmm. Cool. How? <laughs> Roll me a general insight check. Uh, come on. Do it. Come on vibes. Come on vibes. Hell yeah. yeah. Okay. Vibes. All right. Oh, did you sure guys want to roll your never... dice or did you want to roll 20? Roll 20. I have way too much on my table to roll actual dice right now. So. All right. Jesus. <laughs> Hold on, let me close my door because the cube doesn't close it. Jesus. She is 80 something. Hmm. Pretty oh, sure damn, Kenku yeah. only lived to be like 40. That's a short life. <laughs> yeah, they don't live very long, I don't think. So, well, I mean, in Feyrun, um, Bell Drop looks to be about in her mid 20s. Oh, mm -hmm. same as Droop then. Yeah. So that's why they've they've gone they've gone uh, along with each other. There is no there's none of that age gap difference in experience apart from the fact that well, I mean, if you consider it uh Belldrop's experience with the with her old library and the uh uh how it got ransacked basically. Um, versus Droop being bullied and fighting a green dragon, and it's similar in their experience. <laughs> what a green dragon. Let's go, Droop. Totally forgot he was there for that fight. Yeah. Well, yeah. Droop won, helped win that fight. I don't know if Veldrov came out as uh, unscathed, seeing as how she's coming to us for work, so. Dang, now you don't gotta be so mean, Jesus. It's not mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I love Bell Drop. <laughs> <laughs> she 
sure you do. Let's go get some food. <laughs> yep. Okay. This is too hard to do. So, as you guys walk out of the room... Uh, I'm gonna wait for the little girl. Lilith, if you do notice that as you guys are walking out of the room, the little girl's just, like, still standing there, just confused about what to do. Yeah, Lilith will, like, wave her over. Like, come on. Don't you, don't you just walk slowly towards you? And you see that her hands are kind of, like, you know, uh, put together in front of her. In that position, like, I don't want to touch anything. Yeah. Um, and then Lilith is gonna picture in her mind, like, all of us, all of the group, along with the little girl walking to Toblin's Inn. And she kind of tilts her head at you. And then gives you a, like, a foggy image of Toblin's Inn, kind of signifying, like, what is that? Um, she's gonna picture, like, fruits and vegetables and stuff that Linmar eats. Why Lindmar? Because uh, she's I don't I don't know if she's carnivorous and then like Lindmar is vegetarian, so, <laughs> so Lindmar's descended her, from Fay. As you look at her, she's uh, I am. She kind of nods her head a little bit, like okay, I kind of understand kind of feeling from her. Yep, and so then I love Lil... it when Michelle knows more about your character than you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's just elves. I mean, don't look at me. I'm not, I didn't tell her anything. <laughs> well, it, it, no, it's just elves are descended from Fae, right? <laughs> very, 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 very distantly. Yeah, like, so distant. like it's it's like saying dogs and wolves are the thing. Same thing. I mean, there's they huskies. Are. They look similar to wolves. Okay. It's like staying a chihuahua as a wolf. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. So, 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 so Linmar is a, so Lin is a uh, chihuahua. He's a... <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Jeez. Well, I mean, you do have that racial feature, Fey ancestry, so. Eh. So I mean, yeah, I can't be put to sleep. Can't <laughs> go to sleep. Sounds like a terrible life. No, they can sleep. <laughs> they just can't be put to sleep, Peggy. A sleeping for elves is just unnatural. Why sleep when you could focus on what is going on here and now? Oh, Remy, I get, remind me. I gotta send you a video. Okay, Cause... Raul, you gotta send me a video. <laughs> <laughs> Got Sorry. <'em. laughs> Got him. All right. Well, as you guys leave the Trisander Manor, you guys, you guys run into Zankel, and he's just there, about to knock on your front door as you open it, and just like, oh, um, good, good morning. Hey, what's going on? I. What do you know? Are you, are you leaving? Mm. We're gonna go get some breakfast. What's up? Oh, well, I just wanted to. Tell, tell you guys that, um, that we'll be bringing in the rest of your room supplies, and uh, we'll continue on with what was it that was next on the list? It was uh, your guys' bedrooms, the tower, and the library. Yeah, we'll just continue working on those, making sure that everything else is refined, and then after that. Whenever we're done with that, I just have to let you know that you, it's after that that you can uh, start requesting more things. Remind me, Rao, have we told them about needing bedrooms by the library for um, spell drop? Oh, they they were already on it. As okay, good. They, the they, sure. they know like who you hire. Good, good. They know good, when good. you hire. So good, good, good. Yeah, all that paperwork's done by Soldar. So you're going to be here the entire day or what? Oh, yeah. Well, every day on the entire week, whenever we can. Oh, okay. But yeah, just just to let you know. Well, um, I, I got to go get everything else ready, so bye. 
Bye bye. Do we need to stay out of the house? Out of your way for today? Oh, oh well, um. That would be nice, but that's really your choice. We'll find something to do. And he scampers off. It's a funny little guy. You could say that. Let's go, I'm hungry. Mm. Lilith. Mm -hmm. As you've been walking, uh, the girl has just been behind you. And... Oh no, Lilith would try to like walk next to her. Like, still giving her space, but walk next to her. Yeah, you see her hands kind of like uh kind of like what's the word? Like fidgeting. Uh, fidgeting, thank you. I'll say fumbling. <laughs> um That works too. Her, her her fingers are just fidgeting with each other and you get a you get a uh, an image in your head popped up with uh with what seems like a little kid holding someone's hand. And she kind of, like, you know, looks at you just slowly. Yeah, Lilith will send her back the same image and then um, hold out her hand. And she'll slowly just... She turns away from you a little bit, then extends her hand out and just holds your hand. And then uh, roll me an insight check on her. She pulls out a dagger and stabs Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Die. Um that'll be a soft 20. Okay. You you see her face kind of like smiling a little bit for the first time in a while. Yeah, Lilith will give her a smile back. Oh. 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 So we're walking guys, there. We're walking to Stonehill Inn. As yes. we're walking there, um can I look behind me? What exactly is the girl wearing again? It's basically tattered clothes. Just a simple uh, simple tunic. But since she's small enough, the tunic acts kind of like a dress for her. Got it. Alright. Do I have any clothes, like old clothes or something, that would like fit her? <laughs> Did you pack any clothes when you came over here? Uh, not really. Well, I mean, some stuff, but everything my size. Well, yeah, it's all your size. Okay. Could I have tried to give her, like, a shirt? It'll be like a dress on her, but... Mm. You can try. It'll go down, like, below her knees. Okay. Um, Lilith is... Oh yeah, I didn't mention that I would have wanted to do that. Okay, we can keep going. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, should have done that in the morning. So, as you guys reach to Stonehill Inn, uh, you open the uh, doors, and some people in there, you do see a uh, droop and bell drop in a, uh, at a table just conversing with each other. I'm gonna stop, um, Vati before he goes in. Hmm? What's going on? Alright. I'm gonna give him three gold. This is for you and for me. Go ahead and order for me. I'll be right back. Alright, and you're, you're like plant stuff, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> if I come back with bacon, I'm gonna be very disappointed you okay. could just give it to the reverend okay no, reverend the reverend trees? Trees? <laughs> no okay i understand no good food got it wait okay two more gold for reverend there you go all right and he likes good food right he likes any food <laughs> reverend and if you don't buy him food if you don't uh -huh. buy him food he might end up eating your fingers <laughs> reverend looks at you and just kind of snaps his beak shut <laughs> like, I'll bite you too, you little shit. I just to walk off. Okay, so you get five gold. Um, Ryle, would it be Barfin's provisions or Lion Shield coaster that has cloves? Uh, either one. 
Line Shields coaster uh, is more of like imported stuff. Barthens may have it, okay, but I'll generally he's kind of like a general store. But he may have it. Okay. Some of the locals may have uh, delivered him some of the clothes, and he pays for them. <laughs> I'll head up to Barthen then while they have some breakfast. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Michelle? <laughs> Just the part where Vashi said, I'll bite you too, <laughs> you little shit. Oh, what? <laughs> oh Reverend, Reverend does leave you, uh, uh, Linmar, and then uh, lands over to Lilith's shoulder. Yeah, I figured he would. Yeah. <laughs> he, he knows Lilith because you've been wanting to uh, have him go to Lilith a lot mm -hmm. lately. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the shells over there dying. I'll bite you too, you little shit. <laughs> you, you just get a mouthful of feathers. <laughs> when you come when you come back, Vati's gonna be fighting with with, with As soon vampire. as you try to bite him, he just grows to fourteen times his ah! size. <laughs> the fuck? I can do that too, but with my belly. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll order some Sorry. food and, and uh, place um, the food down on the table. Alright, you do so. And then I'm guessing Lilith and, uh, and uh, Blue will also do that. Yeah, no, and I then... I really need yeah. to put a number on uh, how much the food costs. For uh, the Are little you girl, all of the money? um, I mean, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I mean, just, wait, wait, you know what? Depending on how much the food is, like you know, I'm gonna get the usual stuff: bacon, pancakes, and huevos. Um, and oh, uh, and I'm gonna also gonna get I some. Forgetting how much it is. A nice, like, good, thick ham of of pork for uh, for uh. Fucking bird, got a name. <laughs> and then when you go to church, what do you find? <laughs> a pastor. Damn it! <laughs> All right, so uh, for you, Vati, that will run you uh, five silver pieces. All right. Um, and then... For Reverend, that will also run him five silver pieces. Reverend, oh, I got it, Peggy. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, do you, do you find a pastor? Priest? Do you find a pastor? Oh. Is that is that the right word? Pastor, reverend, altar boy. <laughs> no, that's me. Different. It's altar. It's yes. It's me. Um, <laughs> variations of it. And okay. Linmar's gonna get like a very like, very disappointing plate that Vati thinks. <laughs> for Lin, for Linmar, because it's simple, it's just three silver pieces for him. Uh. I give you way too much money. You really <laughs> I thought I do. remember eight. I thought I remembered one of the meals being eight silver. That's why I gave him that. Much oh money. yeah, because it was uh, they're starting to pick up, pick up business. That's why. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought I remembered eight being a number, but maybe I'm imagining. Hon honestly, honestly, look, I I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> Let me well, see I if you wrote it down ever. Uh, yeah. I never wrote it down, so I don't know. Hey, me too, uh, man. I keep forgetting every week. I'll just put the plate down and I, I'll look at Reverend just like, this is yours. That's it. Reverend just looks at you and blinks, flies over to the table and starts eating it. You touch my damn plate, I'm gonna <laughs> cook you. He kind of like tilts his head towards you and does the, uh... Yeah, I'd, I'd do it too. You know, and as I'm eating, I'm keeping an eye on him. Like, just... <laughs> <laughs> you see, every time Reverend kind of grabs something and horks it down, as he's horking it down, he's he's rotating his head towards you and just... <laughs> <laughs> I do it and I hurt my neck. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. um, for the little girl, I would get her um, the same thing as Linmar. Why are you gonna get her that sad plate? All right, so that's that's silver pieces. It, it's just a salad plate for her, basically. A, yeah. A fruit salad. 
Yeah. Wait, no, not fruit salad. Fruit you know salad. what I mean? Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. yummy. Yes, yummy, I'm glad yummy, I'm not the only salad. one who knows yeah. that song. Yes. No, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> Mash bananas, no, no. mashed bananas. <laughs> it's, it's, mashed a, uh, bananas. <laughs> it's a fruit breakfast, fruity breakfast, let's say. Fruity pebbles? That'll, uh, no, Jester, we're not fat. Um, that'll <gasps> oh my god. Stop. <laughs> How much is it? Three. Special K is better than Fruity Pebbles. Fuck you. Fuck you. I like honey brunches of oats. Me too, Peggy. Uh, no. There we go. Yeah. Okay, how about, how, about this? how about this? How about this cookie crisp? No, I don't know no. What that is. no. It sounds. It sounds like something that would make my teeth. Heathens. Lucky Charms. Heathens. God That's no, okay. it's okay. I like well, the marshmallows. I like, yeah, no, yeah. I don't. I don't like the mar. I like the the actual cereal part. I don't like the marshmallows. Have you What's guys special K? Do we have huh? cereal? Special K is the chat? one with a with like a crunchy flakes with like a strawberries on it. <clears throat> Anyways, Michelle, yeah, are you gonna get? Something else? Uh, I mean, I'll get something for me. No, it just five silver pieces. Damn, those cows are loud. <laughs> Mo. <laughs> yeah, they're moving a fucking parade down in here. Apparently <laughs> so. <laughs> it's busy tonight. God, it's, it's busy tonight. God damn. Linmar is being stampeded currently. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want this. Uh, I want this ambiance, but just you know. Fast forwarded, and occasionally you hear it. Oof, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you just hear the hooves. <laughs> uh, Bluey, uh, Bluey, I'm guessing you're also buying something. Yes, just pancakes with like strawberries and stuff. Just pancakes, all right. That's four silver pieces. If you're not getting any of the bacon, no. Oh, is it four for no bacon? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, two sixty nine bacon. Oh, Jesus. It was nice. two sixty eight. You have problems, Michelle. I do not have a problem. <laughs> I that's argued. It, that there, that an argument can be made there. I am right. fine. <laughs> so as you get your food and sit down to eat, uh, you see the girl just kind of like poking her salad just a little bit and taking bit by bit. Basically, uh, Michelle eating a big sandwich. Oh, go fuck oh. yourself. <laughs> okay, look, Michelle, it's not my fault that you eat, like, anime girls. What the <laughs> hell is that supposed to mean? Waterburger sounds kind of good right now. Nothing oh, right. My oh, oh, my God. Peggy, shut up. Peggy, Stop. why do you have to Peggy, say that? what Please. is so wrong with you? I'm hungry and I'm Get fat. out. Get out, right? <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> You're going to be the reason I stay up late to eat ramen. <laughs> Jester, no. Stop it, Jester. You guys are going to make me eat my Oreo pins. Huh? I know, but I'm fat and I want more. Same. <laughs> Tomorrow? No, we don't have money. We don't need the house. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, we'll move in with, uh, with Remy. That is an option. I saw my computer. It might be worth it. <laughs> Wait, what? Later. <laughs> He said, sell my computer, it might be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys just sit down and eat, and the girl just, you know, gingerly eats her food. Mm -hmm. hmm. Bot is gonna eat a little quicker than usual. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that Revent is gonna try and compete with you. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You should have them roll something for it to see who finishes you want first. To? Sure. Okay, Constitution hold on, hold on. checks. Um, no, 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 no. Constitution uh, saving throws yeah. to see if he chokes. Con constitu Constitution saving throws from the both of you, Reverend and Vati, to see which one chokes first. What are we rolling? Sorry. Constitution saving throw. Reverend's used to horking down. He can hork uh, down I'm, didn't, I'm doing. I'm rolling my own dice. I'm sorry. I forgot. Nope, I have my nope, own take dice. Take it. Right take here. it. I forgot. <laughs> He had his. I probably now. won't roll any better. Let me see. I'll roll. You know what? No, I roll know. better. <laughs> I'm gonna I roll. Oh, I'm gonna roll with my dice too. I'm gonna see. Oh, go ahead. Come on, hag dice. 
Oh fuck! Oh, oh shit! Absolute, it fell. E- absolute shit, Vati. It fell. I can't see. I'll roll again. Uh. <laughs> I can't see my toes. Uh, Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's a twelve plus two, I guess. You guess? Yeah, it's two plus two, so twelve, <laughs> thirteen, fourteen. It's kind of unfair that I rolled again. Because he rolled a, a 19. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It makes sense, though. You know he's what? used to forking do, down do, mines. Do it again. Both just of you roll- do it. Just do it again. Okay. Cool. I, can't, I can't find my dice. <laughs> oh, no! Four. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> there you go. Oh. <laughs> Vati, why are you trying to compete with a bird? Um, he's gonna eat my food. Just and also, I got I gotta go do some other stuff. You could you, buy you him more food. Plate. You look over to his plate. His plate just finished, and he's just watching your plate. Vati, you could just order more food. You're spending Linmar's money. I already feel bad spending the man's money. By the way, here's the change. Here, hold on to that. Uh, give Why that back you... to him. Okay, I guess. All right. I'm gonna, I'm, this this was a nice meal and everything, but I'm going to head out right now. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Where are you headed? Oh, around. I'll, I'll be around here. I'll, I'll head back to the to the manor in a little bit. All right. Then uh, Vati's going to get up and go while I look up for my dice. How much How Did much you... change? I wasn't you keeping have... track. I had five gold. Um, uh, Ryle, you do the math. Five. He gives you four gold. Okay. Wait, did you? Did he buy Linmar's food? Yeah, he did. Okay. He he gives you a three gold and seven silver pieces. Oh, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Is Benny here? <gasps> Benny no. left. Kremi left. Kremi. Mm. Kremi. I'm disturbed y'all can say that at the same time. <laughs> Alright, well. Even though he's not here, it's not really him being here right now. Um, Let's hope he comes back soon. Reme, why'd you die? I think maybe he'll... Reme. Reme. So Reme. Text- Jenny. Someone, someone text him. Because there are things going on, even though he won't really know what's happening. Because Peggy, you Lindmar text him. May I have his number? <laughs> Ryle, you're see. probably better off texting him. Hey! hey. My phone is dead. Wait. Bemi, that was longer than usual. It was, wasn't it? For me, what happens is it goes. Ba-dum. Oh. Over and yeah. over and over again. God. So Is I that... don't know when I actually join or not. Oh, if that happens, I just end Discord. I just like end the task and then rejoin that way. That seems to fix it mm. for me. Mm. I'll do it next time. All right. Well. Anyways, as you guys are eating, Lilith, um, the girl you see are just kind of stop midway in her meal. And she just kind of looks at you. And then you get images in your head of a small village. Uh, the, the images keep running through. And Jesus Christ, this mu- this ambiance is really loud. There's now chickens in the background. Um, <laughs> it's, it's reverend. <laughs> and uh, you, you see images of a small village. And uh, you see that it's it's a little bit smaller than Fandolin. There are people going about uh, around town, and you see that they they don't look like humans at all. Some of the people look like the girl. They have completely shaven heads. They have dark skin. Mm-hmm. Their clothes are very peasant. Like they don't look. None of them look aristocratic. Um. In that image, you also see some people, uh, you see them having fur on their skin. 
not like fur, not like a fur coat, but the fur is actually growing out of their skin, and they have snout, uh, snout-like faces, and uh, fangs growing out of them. But the rest of their body looks humanoid. But all of them just look peaceful. Uh, you see, you see uh, around in their environment that the village is just covered in shadow. Uh, the sky is clear. Uh, you can clearly uh, see that it's morning, that there's sh- that there's sun shining through. But <clears throat> uh, on both sides uh, surrounding the village, you see that there's mountains, and the mountains are just completely blocking out any form of sunlight that should be shining down on them. Um... and then as the images keep following along uh, you see the you see more of a better picture about it's the image that she showed you earlier it's actually her holding the hands of what you can only assume to be her mother this uh, this feminine figure uh, shrouded in in a shadow in the image uh just where she's holding her hand and she's walking towards a, a somewhat rundown house it's not made of any mortar of any bricks no shingles on the house it looks to be just made out of uh simple rocks stacked up on each other with uh, mud and clay to hold the rocks in between nothing too special it's it's really run down but it looks like uh that was the home that uh she was taken from and you see her kind of like just drop her silverware and just look down at her food and you see uh tears coming out of our eyes and falling down onto her plate Um, hmm. Lilith is gonna, like, slowly reach out towards her and, like, pat her back. Um, and then she'll send an image of, like, the group taking the little girl back to that village. And she she looks towards you and she gives you a uh, a soft little nod before she puts her head uh, on your chest and just starts crying Oh, a little hugger and as that's happening Linmar what are you doing is he here I'm here. Hi. What's up? Okay. He's gone. I'm being you're going towards, uh, quiet. You're going towards Barthen's provisions. I am. As I'm going, I'm looking for any of the circus people. Nope. None Nobody. Of them. Good. Yep. You do see uh, on the road the uh, what looked like to be uh, wheels uh, running along the road mm-hmm. leading out of the town. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'll head over to Barthen's provisions. You open the door, and then a, a bell rings as you open the door. And uh, you see Linen right there uh, at the counter, and Barthen just goes, Oh, hi, Linmar. Do you need anything? Good morning. Good morning. I'm just here to tool around, really. Do you have any oh, children? Hey there, elf. Dresses. Hello. It's Lenin, isn't it? Yes, it is Lenin. Good morning to you, too. Good morning to you, too. Well, anyways, Barthen, I should be really going back to my shop now. I'll see you later. Oh, but bye, bye, Lenin. Um, children's dresses? I think I may have some. 
Anything really will do. Uh, I'll take a look at some, it if that's okay. Some of the mothers around town, you know, they sold this to me and I figured why not, you know, keep it here and if anybody else needs them. Um yeah, here's here's some of it. And he shows you a uh a nice quaint uh sewn up dress. Uh just of simple color, you know, white and brown. Um, but it's it's honestly better than what the uh, what she's wearing right now. Simple what color? White and brown. White and brown, okay. Yeah, just um, a white top with a brown skirt. Okay. Do you have any thing I know I said dresses. Do you have anything else besides a dress, like play clothes, maybe? What'd you say? Play clothes? Mm -hmm. What is play clothes? Clothes you can play in? Mm -hmm. Like pants, like shirt, combo? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking doll's clothing for some reason. Yeah, no. I... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was like, play clothes? Is that what you call doll's clothing? <laughs> Damn, Remy. Okay. Um, uh, I'm... And so where is it? And he kind of looks into a box right underneath. Uh, and he eventually pulls out a uh, uh, a decently sized uh, uh, pants. It, it seems to be meant You're cutting for... out for me, what'd you say? And he pulls out uh, some pants, some brown pants, and it seems to be like, it seems to be sized for a little bit older children. Does it look like it won't fit? Um, it looks like it'll girl. be a little bit. It'll, it looks like it'll be a little bit longer on her. Okay. Uh, do you have a shirt as well? Uh, yes, I do. It's right here. And then he shows you a a, a tunic, shorter than what the girl currently has, but it seems like it it should fit her fine. All right, and then the last thing is shoes. I want something sturdy that can be used, worn on long journeys. Yeah, the problem with shoes is that having something sturdy for traveling is a bit hard to come by. I only have a couple tattered shoes that nobody wanted anymore, and they gave it to me. Fair enough. If you, I'll just take the best one of those, I suppose. Uh, sure. Here you go. No charge on this one, really, because it's of really bad quality. And he kind of gives you a, uh, you can, he gives you a pair of shoes. Uh, you see that on one of the on one of the shoe, the uh, soles uh, are partly ripped off, um, mm -hmm. and on. And on both shoes, there are a couple holes, little tiny holes on them. Hmm. One shoe has a hole where your uh, your big toe will be sticking out of if you were to put it on. All right. Well, this will do. Yeah. What was Lynn in here for? Is she making like a trade deal with you or something? Oh, well, she just came in and asked me if I was okay after all the circus mumbo-jumbo and after you guys were all locked up and stuff. Did there's the circus people rumors. bother you? Well, there's been rumors going around town that there were there were people in cages. Well, yes, those, those were unfortunately true rumors. Oh. She had their sad business. That's why I'm here today, as a matter of fact. But, speaking of Lenin, do you think she would have anything that could be useful in the similar department of what I'm asking you for today? Um, she mostly has imported stuff. I don't know if she has any... any simple attire. Her things are mostly imported from Neverwinter and with imported goods that usually runs by for prospectors and uh, people who want to defend themselves. Alright, well, 
something to consider. How much will this cost me today? Um, honestly, I'll... Uh, five copper will be fine. Five copper? Okay, Barthen, I'm going to give you two silver. One, because you deserve it, and two, because I still feel bad about Droop. And if oh, there's anything oh, else no, we can do Droop's, to help, just let me know. Thank you, but Droop's, you know, does Droop, he does good sometimes. I know he does good, but he could do better. <laughs> Flashbacks, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Park. <sighs> Oh, you're welcome, and be safe if you're traveling. Well, doesn't look like we'll be traveling anytime soon unless we get any leads. Speaking of, Barthen, if you get any strange customers that either give you bad vibes or, um, is a scary looking tiefling or a scary looking big fellow, let me know, okay? Uh, sure. Thank you. And I'll walk out and I'll head towards Lenin's. Okay. Uh, you eventually get up to Lenin, and uh, you're just gonna walk in. Mm-hmm. Okay, you walk in and Lenin's just getting up to her, uh, getting up to her counter. She goes, she turns around and goes, "Ah, hello, elf." Hello. Lenin, that was the name, right? It's been a while. It has been a while. Um, typically I go to Barthens, but I'm interested in your wares, specific specifically in children's clothes. Children's clothing? That's not something I particularly sell. I just give me a second, and I'll look into the back for you. Sure thing. So you just walk behind a counter into a, a little can I, doorway at the back. Can I look around while she's gone? See if sure. there's anything interesting. Sure. The things she has around is uh, is uh, mostly weapons. You see some pickaxes there also, and some axes uh, for prospectors and whatnot. Um, she also has uh, a couple uh, arrows and quivers. Uh, she has she has a lot of normal adventurers stuff. Mm -hmm. I forgot that I don't have detect magic with this character. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be looking at the quivers whenever she comes back into her head. And she eventually comes back with a uh, with a box, um, sets it down on the counter. Well, I did find a couple clothing here, but if you're looking for clothes for that little girl, I don't know if any of these will fit her. Uh, you're welcome to look, however. Mm, I'll take a peek. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wasn't expecting. <laughs> this is this is investigation check mostly to for you to find if there's anything better than what you already got for, from Barthen. Got it. I rolled high. Um, soft 20? <laughs> you eventually find a... It's on. It's you eventually on. find... <laughs> it's back. You find... Uh, Remy, you're back, right? Yes, I'm here. Okay, Remy. You find... Uh, thanks, oh. Jester, because I'm not looking at Discord. Uh, you find shoes that are way better than what you got at Barthen's. Um, they look to be uh, traveling boots. Good. Uh, <clears throat> you do find some. You do find some pants that are uh, also better knitted, better stitched together. Um, and it looks like it would be a perfect fit for her. Not so long and baggy, for her. Good. And you do find an extra pair of a uh, tunic. That you can wear. Good. Alright, well, 
This should do. So, okay. Um, that will cost you about one silver piece. Alrighty. You haven't seen any strange folk coming through, except the circus, of course. Strange folk. What do you mean by strange folk? People who give you bad vibes. Anybody, really. I'm just curious. Well, I meet a lot of people every day, and there are different vibes that you can get from them. I mean, right now I'm getting some vibes from you that you are very nosy. Just very curious is all. Nosy can save you sometimes. Nosy can also bring you loads of trouble. She kind of gives you a smile. I live for trouble. Have a good day. <laughs> you might not live for long if you seek out certain kinds of trouble. Do you know something I don't? There's always something that people know that you don't. Is there more to did that answer than what she's telling me? You can roll an insight check on her. Please. God, then I roll low. <laughs> it rolled from a 20 to a 2. So that's a oh. total of... What, insight? Uh, total of... It's a 4. No. Does it help oh, that in the past I said something about a female person helping him with the shadows? No, this is him getting a... Okay. What you rolled a four? Yeah. Wow, I rolled a natural five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to add her uh, proficiency stuff. Um, no, you're not getting any vibes from her. It seems like she's just giving you some good-hearted advice. Hmm. Have a good day. I'll and you out. too. I'll head back to the Stone Hill Inn. As you're heading back to the Stone Hill Inn, you uh, meet up with Vati, who's just exiting. Hey. I'm leaving so soon. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go look around town. Yeah, your food, your food should be there. Hmm. Also, I gave the change back. Uh, I gave the change to uh, Lilith, so ask her for for your change back. Alrighty. Thank you uh, for not keeping it. Yeah, no, that's all right. Well, thank you for, you know, uh, paying for, for my meals and everything. Um, but yeah. Funny question. Mm -hmm. Can you sew? Can I sew? Mm -hmm. Or stitch? Uh, I'm not familiar with doing that. If anything, Just my wondering. Wife... Well, You're a family no. man and all, so didn't know. Well, my, my wife did most of that. Hmm. <laughs> all right, well, enjoy yourself. Don't do a droop and blow up half the city. No promises. I mean, if you want, I could try to take a look at whatever you got. I mean, there's a few things here, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. All right, I'll meet you back at the manor or wherever. I'll, I'm going to be around town. All right, Vati. Yeah. Little advice. Um, <clears throat> we all kind of stink after spending some time in the prison. I was planning on getting a bath later. You should probably do that too. Oh yeah, that was the same prison the guy without the leg was in. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, 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 oh, that, that was stink. such a long time ago. Oh my god, I'm gonna call back. <laughs> Whenever I, I shot the man's leg off, yeah. <laughs> double natural twenties. You weren't there. I rolled yet. a double natural. He was a hundred and he was like two hundred and twenty-five feet away, and I shot yeah. him with a double natural twenty. Because he had I've disadvantage. It was the better. first. It was the first double nat twenty of like any of our D and D careers. The next yeah. one we had was whenever. <laughs> whenever. No, it was, it, was like, it was like our uh, our third session. No. Sure, Linmar, sure. The, the next time we had a double natural 20 was whenever Lom was dancing in front of he the was dragon. Trying to, yeah, he was rolling a charisma check for the, the, the dragon. <laughs> Not even <laughs> hard. Sorry. Good memory. times, man. 
Yeah, sure you did that. <laughs> um, you, you're trying to tell me I stink. I'm trying to tell you that we stink. Yes, you stink. All right. Well, I'll probably head over there uh, um, after I'm done looking around town. If you're going for a job interview, you might want to do it beforehand. Sure. All right. I'll see you later. You almost you almost see a smile on his face as he walks in. You now I know why he doesn't smile. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Wait, what's that supposed to mean? The first smile you heard a. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vati, where are you going? I am going to the woodworkers, Smithy, and the Sleeping Giant. Christ, Larry. okay. Just to let you know, the Sleeping Giant is closed. Yeah, I was going to head over there, and then I'm we assuming... We probably should have told you we were planning to do these things before. <laughs> um, yes. I was going to assume... Um, I, I assume that it's it's closed, but I'm assuming that her... Uh, whoever, what, I forget her name, Grista... Uh, uh-huh. has a house nearby. And I'll probably really ask people or whatever. All right, all right. <clears throat> so give, give me a gist of what you want to do because I, I do want to get to other things. I know. I was going to say um, just uh, going to the Smithy Woodworker and then Grista. Um, just generally seeing if I can get a kind of like part-time, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. You're an adventurer, but you're going for a part-time job. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Roll me three charisma checks. Mm-hmm. This man can't even be a full time adventurer. Straight charisma checks. All right. Uh, and charisma? <laughs> yeah. Uh, persuasion? Uh, charisma. Okay. There's one. Oh. <laughs> oh. There's, there's two. Uh, and three. Yes, I want the the slow decrease. You you used all of your charm in the first one, and then you're so worn out the next two. Please tell me the natural one is the worst. By the end, you were just like sleeping instead of talking. No, I was was, like the stink started to come out because I'm walking so much. Please tell me the natural one is with Grista, please. <laughs> hey, Grista. So, here's, so here's what happens. Here's what happens. You go towards the woodworker and you charm them up. They seem to like you. You enter. What you see is whenever you enter in there, there's just a lot of people working on furniture. It's like gallery furniture. It's, it's like I would say like a busy dwarf. Like, it's just filled with busy dwarves in there. Even though it's not exactly filled with dwarves, you see some gnomes and humans in there also. But it, it's like, you know, in D&D, dwarves is a, a work ethic. Mm-hmm. Basically kind of like that. Like, there's only there's only one person to actually talk to you. But even then, they kind of like just give you side glances. You're talking to them. But, you know, you kind of talk to them and... Uh, a lot of them seem to be taking a liking to you, and you feel like you've got a good chance in, uh, you know, in joining them. Mm-hmm. As you get to the smithy, uh, you start talking to her, and she's like, oh, "God, who was the smithy again?" Um, do you know anything about smithing? No. All right, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Give me a second. Where is my characters? Uh, jeez, I uh, jeez, uh, there it is. Jeez, uh, jeez. Uh, 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 what you do with that? What's her name? What's her, what's her name? Um, God. Does anybody remember her name? Nope. Okay. Marona. No, no. Marona is uh, with Sankle. Wait, no. Who are you thinking? Blacksmith. Of? The blacksmith. The, the oh, Smith. blacksmith. Uh, let me see. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. When was the last time we talked to them? I think I got some arrows from them recently. Um, yeah, you did. Hold on. I, I know, I, I um, never, what's his name? I would never look again, but you, yet here I am. I know Balthazar went to them to try to, like... Mm-hmm, 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 um... mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm,
Yes, Michelle noises. Um, so I saw a small village, um, a bit smaller than Fandolin. Um, there were other changelings there. They weren't particularly dressed very, uh, how do I say it? Aristocratically. That was the word I only used. Uh oh. Um, and I yeah, saw a few other humans there. They had furred and snout like heads uh, with normal humanoid bodies. Um, and it all looked really peaceful. Well, I only heard about it, but it sounds important, so I'll take that as granted. <clears throat> Well, I may have gone shopping earlier, so we could get her out to see what she likes. Oh, that's kind of you. I also just said body, but after breakfast, uh, he takes a bath, and I know I certainly do. So that would be nice. I'm going to be doing that. Do you think that... What are we going to call her? I don't know. Mm, Gray. Lilith, Lilith Jr. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I like Gray. I like my Blue. ghost. Blue, do you like names that are colors? It seems to be. Uh, they're the first thing I see, and then the first thing I think of when I see something, so yes. Well then, I think gray will work for now. Gray as in G-R-A-Y or G-R-E-Y? No, G-R-A-I. <laughs> <laughs> that would just be- oh, that would be- oh, Gray. What? Gray? No, gray. Gray, is not, gray is spelled gray. G-R-A-I. So, gray, G-R-A-Y. I like it. We'll say that for now. A-I? Mm -hmm. G R A I. Okay, I'll just write that down in my notes. I like it. It's a weird way to spell things, and therefore I like it. Yes. So as uh, as you guys are as you guys speak the name Gray, she kind of like looks at you guys and just like tilts her head, just like what? Mm. Well, do you think that Gray? What should we do with Gray if we're going to? Go take a bath. I could I take her with me. She might enjoy it. I don't know if it. she would want that. I'm going to be honest with you. She might be very confused by it. Well, but I can try to explain it to her, and if she doesn't want to take a bath, then Blue and I can take turns. Fair enough. You got a plan. Well, it's nods. Now, as for the other issue... Which I... was? Hunting down the two problem makers. Three, I believe. Hmm. Two problem makers and their pawn. That's fitting. I don't know if we'll find anything useful here. We need to talk to Belldrop, because Belldrop might have something useful, but... Just to let you know about that, Belldrop hasn't received her books yet, so she shouldn't. So it doesn't seem like she That's would right. know anything. That's right. When does her book arrive again? Two weeks? She's only been she's only been here a couple days. Yeah. Two days, to be exact. Yeah, so it'll be a while. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm getting restless. But I don't know what to do about it. So I agree. I have. I don't know how to track them down. It's not like we can just wander around until we find them. I have a very limited use of my ability to find things. Which one? I could always try, but. Which ability was that? 
You have Let's a lot just of say them. that if you ever decide to go far away from me without any reason, I will know how far away you are within 10 miles, and I should be able to find you. Interesting. So make sure I'm... That means I gotta run fast. <laughs> you are a little more difficult, because I haven't spent my time studying your kind. Hmm. So more than Meow. 10 miles away, and you won't be able to track me? Uh, beyond 10 miles, it will be difficult. Okay. Up until what point will it not be difficult? You seem very curious about this. Are you planning on running away? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's sarcasm. Mm, it's not really that helpful of a trait. Once I actually find a creature, I'm able to track them afterwards, but initially finding them is difficult. I can do tracking in the normal sense, looking for disturbed brush, crunched leaves, small details like that, typical ranger stuff. Um, my feature allows me to sense creatures in a certain radius, um, but I have a difficult time pinpointing their exact location, but if they're in the vicinity, I could at least get a general sense of where to start looking. Hmm. Interesting. You seem entirely too curious, but that's fine. I the have point no is... idea what you're talking about. I don't like your fake sarcasm. That sounds like sarcasm. It probably is sarcasm, but what if it's just being sarcastic about being sarcasm? I think you're overthinking this a bit too much. Hmm. You mean sarcastic about being sarcastic? I don't know. No such thing as overthinking. Point is, I can't do a whole lot sitting here. Right. Well, I don't want to leave Grey at the manor by herself if we decide to go out. No. She won't be alone. She has Bell Drop and Droop. Right, but Bell Drop and Droop can't do much if the caravan, the carnival, or whatever, decide to send a few visitors. Do you think they would do that? I mean, they know where we live because of a certain someone. <laughs> did you tell them? I didn't you did tell, tell them. them. I remember. <laughs> Not in any <laughs> direct words. No, you told them. You told them we lived in the town. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Hmm. And that does do it. I thought you were sneaking -er than this, to be honest. Well, nah. Is this a rip on Lilith day? If so, I will happily join in. What? What did I... I don't feel like I deserved any of this. Mm. Sure, you don't. Yeah, Lilith. Lilith, your Michelle is showing. <laughs> well, I didn't huh. say... Lilith didn't say go fuck yourself, because that's what I would have said. That's a really aggressive... Well, I didn't say that, so... Mm -hmm. so, Fine, we'll find it. Ah. If it is showing. What are you guys doing? I guess we'll finish breakfast and then go to the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. You do end up finishing breakfast and then uh, you guys end up going to the bathhouse in which the girl does follow you, Lilith. Only you. And again, she'll uh, hold your hand on the way there. Mm -hmm. You enter in there, and uh, Linmar, you enter into the uh, men's side where you see Vati in a tub. Uh, and then the girl's going on to the other side. Good morning. Hey, how's your breakfast? Um, sufficient. You actually bought the right thing. I was somewhat concerned you would pull a prank on me. Oh, no. Hmm. Either you've been soaking a long time, or you did something before deciding to come here. Oh, no, I've been looking around for uh, some jobs I can do here and there, make some money. How'd it go? 
Uh, pretty well. <laughs> Just look at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I think I got myself a job at the woodworker shop. Woodworker shop? You have previous oh, yeah. experience in that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll learn along the way. Well, how can be? Mm, and also, the, and also, I'm gonna go check out some other places as well once I'm done here. Mm, mm, fair enough. I was somewhat joking about the job, but I'm glad you're taking it seriously. It could prove helpful. <gasps> yeah, I also need to save up some money for. You cut out. What did you say? No, I, I just said I need to save up some money anyway. No, fair enough. Oh, Reverend, you could go hunting. You don't have to stay here if you don't want to. As soon as you say that, he flies out. Are you not going to bathe him as well? He bit, I seriously doubt he would appreciate that. Where? Where's your voice big. coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were we at the front of the bathhouse? No. no he, he already went inside into the men's house, and I said the girls oh. went into the, the other tent. I didn't hear that no, part. I thought you were standing at the side. front. <laughs> no. Lilith, Lilith is just everywhere all the time. She is everything. <laughs> she is the BB. Get out of here, Lilith. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> back into the wall. <laughs> so, on the uh, on the other side, Blue, Lilith, what are you guys doing? The girl is also there, and she uh, she's just standing there as you guys are getting your tubs. Lilith would send a picture of, like, you know, um, the tub being filled with water, and then the little girl like getting in it. The girl just nods her head, kind of understanding what's happening, and she, as you uh, as you watch her, she seems to know what's going on. Okay. And you yeah, we'll her, we'll uh, get out a tub for her as well. Yeah, you see her getting the soap out and start scrubbing herself, but it doesn't seem like she can reach her back. Well, we'll help. Mom's tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just imagine uh, Linmar and uh, Vati still like having that close uh, bathtubs next to each other, <laughs> and they're they're faced the opposite direction, so they're like facing each other. God, it's like sitting on two opposite sides of a table, yeah. and, there's, and there's one and there's one slice of pie in the middle of the table. <laughs> That's the, that's that the one bar of soap in the middle. <laughs> you you mind passing me the soap, Linmar? <laughs> if we cut the soap in half, we don't have to share it. <laughs> God. You don't want to... A Chad meme template? No. The one no. That's the guy with the beard? That doesn't narrow it down by at all. Oh, God, this this guy. Um, uh, sending it. <gasps> I wish Discord was working for me. There you go. It's now on Discord. Oh my yeah, god! It's not for me. It's <laughs> the guy with the uh, the blonde beard and the hair and the that sort of. The beard and the hair. Yes. <laughs> Cartoonishly the drawn. The and the fur, the fur. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, that meme. I just imagine uh, Linmar and uh, Vati just being like that. <laughs> <laughs> just looking at each other. <laughs> yeah, well, you enjoy your bath. I'm going to head out already. Fair enough. All right. So, back on. Back on the what? Which we would have been on. Um. As you are uh, helping her bathe, Lilith, she again sends you a uh, an image of her home, but this time uh, she sends you a, a frontal image of her house, and in front of her house are her parents waving at her. Wow. That was that Hi. Bad. Does it end there? 
and roll me an insight check on it. Oh. Tired making noises. Natural one. <laughs> oh. Wow, you have no fucking clue. <laughs> Why did I roll so shit? She kind of just looks at you. Um. And show you the world. I'm putting this dice away. I just rolled it three more times and I got two more natural ones. Fucking A. And the, the picture goes closer and it seems to be like, uh, from her perspective, it's her going towards her parents. Aww. Michelle. Huh? Why is your... Why is your status D D is the only thing that makes me happy anymore? Don't worry, Remy. <laughs> because it's true. <laughs> That's true for all of us. I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the image that you get. Uh, I don't. I don't know how to. Oh, I get a little, little nod and then continue helping her. <laughs> yes, her be in pain. <laughs> Let me guard that natural one, though. I don't. Oh, that was better. Okay, well, too late. <laughs> You'll end up helping her, Blue. Are you uh, just scrubbing yourself, just watching them? Yes. Okay. You don't want to do anything? I mean, she's bathing. I mean, talk. No. They're, she's letting them have their moment. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you guys eventually uh, get cleaned up and you meet each other at the front of the bathhouse. Do we get there before or after Linmore? Is Linmar waiting? Mm -hmm. Is Linmar uh, doing a quick bath or a long one? Mm -hmm, long one. You, you would get there about the same time. Okay. Well. well do you have any plans for the rest of the day? I don't really know, do you? Not really? Maybe try to find more information about the Feywild? Is that what you called it? Uh, to maybe help her mm. get home. Why don't you follow me? Um, well, let's go back to the manor first, but then I might be able to do something. Sure. Blue, what, what about you? Do you have plans for today? Not really. Hmm. Alrighty. See how our rooms are coming on in the one and a half hours we've given them. That was a short bath then. I don't know how long baths are. <laughs> Never had one. Two hours. <laughs> <laughs> one and a half an hour, one and a half hour bath is really long. No, <laughs> no, I'm saying because because he he, but what the, Zankel came to our house before we had breakfast, so we had breakfast and went to take a shower in one and a half hours. Yeah, I thought it was a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> I would say more of two hours because yeah, yeah. Be two hours. we have to go out. Vati went out. That's true. Yeah, two hours seems more reasonable. Yeah. Eventually, you reach back into just hand the man, and uh, you see the uh, dwarves working there. Uh, Morona and uh, the family, basically. Nails and Hammer Incorporated. Incorporated. And Hammer I'm gonna try to stay out of their way. Mm -hmm. And try to find Vadi. Vadi, Vadi, Vadi. Is Vadi No. 
Oh, that's right. You went other places. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot about that. What are you doing? The rest of you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm following Lenore. I'm following the group. Okay, well, you guys are at Trisander Manor right now. So, I went out and bought some clothes. Um, let's go up to the rooms. And we can see if she wants to put on new clothes. Sure. You go up into the rooms, and uh, the only room that's open right now is... is two rooms that are open right now is uh, Lilith and Fati's room. Okay. Lilith and Fati's? Peggy. The Maybrick and Peggy. Yes. You're really loud. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know how to do that. Like, how to not do that. Well, no, it's just your humming song. <laughs> oh. I didn't even realize I was humming. I was listening to y'all, and I was like, this is great. Everything's great. <laughs> What the, I was trying to figure out what song you were singing. Sitting there. Okay, what is this? You're in Lilith's room right now. Lilith's room, okay. So, I'm gonna take out... First, I'm gonna take out um, the, the common dress. And I'm gonna hold it out in front of me. And I'm going to picture in my mind, as good as I can, Grey wearing the common clothes. Um, and kind of hold it out to her. You see her eye just brighten up, and she nods her head, and she takes the clothes, and kind of, like, looks around where to change. And she, you see her just eventually, like, take off her tunic right in front of you. I will quickly turn around. <laughs> and then she gets changed really quick. <laughs> Lilith, you help her out a little bit with her, uh, with her pants. Yeah. And then you help her put her shoes on. Mm -hmm. But then as you look at her, she looks a lot, a lot cleaner. Yeah. She still looks a bit ragged from her, her journey. Mm -hmm. But she looks, she's starting to look better. Okay. Oh. All righty. <laughs> That's good. So, I'm going to go out with Reverend. You're welcome to join me, but um, I'm going to try to find uh, the proper door to open. There's multiple doors? The door was more of like a, a metaphor I was trying to use. Metaphor. <laughs> It's the Feywild chooses to appear in different locations. It's not always the same door. Right. How do you know what's a door? Well, theoretically, Reverend can help me do that. Lenore, oh. you feel a, a, a tug on your pants. I look down. And you see in your mind... Uh the same things that Lilith saw earlier. You see uh, these people in her village uh, with their... I'm Hello, back. Remy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you, see, you see... Yeah, you see people in her village. You see that they have elven-like ears. You see that they're all dark-skinned. There are a couple of them with fur. And uh, those with fur seem familiar, like you've seen them before. Like I've seen them before. If you if you're catching my drift. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then eventually you see. Uh, oh, I do see where you. See. I got yeah. it. it. You took me see. A moment. You see a rundown old house made out of. Uh, clay and stone and you see what seems to be just figures of the girl's parents waving at her 
as the perspective is getting closer to the parents as if she's running towards them. Mm. Did I see anyone familiar in the town? No. Okay. I'm going to nod at her. I'm going to kneel down and look at her and picture the gate that I've seen before. The one that I went through. She kind of tilts her head at you. Roll me an insight check on her. Okay. Uh, of 16. 16, okay. You get a feeling that she does want to go back home for something. Possibly her parents, but you you get a feeling that she also doesn't know that, that she knows what the Feywild is, but she doesn't know what the gate you're talking to. You're talking about. Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of. How did she get here then? Okay. <clears throat> right. Why don't you come with me? I'm not promising we'll find anything. I've been trying this for a while and have not been successful. What have you been trying it for? Well... Reverend is obviously a little special. Yes. Someone told me he might be able to do this. So since then I've been trying to help him figure that out. Just ah. mostly out of curiosity. All right. You see, uh, uh, as you're talking to Lilith, you see another image pop in your head of uh, what seems to be her time in the uh, circus caravan. You see her traveling down the road. Uh, you see just mountains passing by, a forest passes by. And then after that forest, it's sometime just on the road until you see a glimpse of what looks to be a marshy land to her right side from where she's looking outside the uh, the opening of the caravan. Is that so? I think she came from the south. No. The north. Wait. Marshy land on the right-hand side? Marshy land on the right-hand side. Right-hand side. The only marsh I know of is the mire of dead men, but... That one, it makes sense. Roll me an intelligence check. God damn it. Can I see the map? <laughs> yes, I'm going to put you on the map. Uh, what is my intelligence? That's the same as everything else. 14. Yes, she did come down south. Cause if you're looking at it this way, if uh, you're on the map, right? Mm -hmm. If she's traveling up north, the way she would see it is this way. Yeah, no. Yeah. So she has to have been going south, but then she, I guess she came back up north to where no, we are. No, no, she's going. She was going up north. She was going up north. So the mar mire was on her left then. No, the mire was on her right side because she's looking down. She's facing. Oh. She's facing backward. Oh, she was facing back. Okay, yeah, she was facing. That's a caravan. She's not looking forward. Remember. Eh, you could be doing it either way. Yeah, the caravan was covered. That's the only true. Open, the only opening you guys ever had was the uh, through the back. back That's true. That's true. Okay, fair enough. She came from the south. I think. So Chester. there's. Stop it. What is he doing? Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> He's doing nothing. <laughs> He's doing just the things. Um, so it's possible there's a gate to the south. But gates don't tend to stick around. So... Do you think it'd be easier to find a gate there? Or just continue searching around for a gate? I want to try searching around tonight, but to be honest with you, there aren't a whole lot of woods around here. Deep woods. 
And sometimes these things work better in woods. Gotcha. Are you going to search by yourself or with all of us? I was inviting you to come with me if you wanted to. It, mm, I'm just telling you now that it might not be a successful trip. I think Gray would probably like to come. Yeah. Look she nods. You get a feeling that she doesn't want to go back home. Then let's do it. Just sure. a quick outing to the nearby woods. They're not nearly as big as other places, but it's the closest we've got. Well, well as, you say nearby, she kind of, as you say nearby, she kind of like tilts her head. Unless you think it should be further away, I say in Elvish. And then I try to envision um, the woods outside our um, manor. And then I try to envision the woods that she saw while coming up out of the carriage. Caravan. So the way she saw it, uh, the way she gave she gave you the vision was that there were mountains first, mm -hmm. and then forest, mm -hmm. and eventually to her right side was the mirror, mm -hmm. and the woods that you saw don't look similar at all to the woods that uh, that you know around uh, locally. And Fandolin. I... I don't think this is going to work, to be honest with you. I think we need to leave. The gate we might have to go south for, if we're to return her home properly, because... I'm not entirely sure how distance works in the Feywild, but if a gate opens in one place, it might open in a different place in the Feywild. You see what I'm saying? Not really. Pretend I understand. Keep going. Let me try with Reverend to see if we could find something. If we can't, then we're going to have to go south. And pretty far south. Oh, fun. But, personally, I could do to stretch my legs. I agree. So to speak. God, how funny would it be if I make us go south for no reason at all? <laughs> That's road just how I'm interpreting it, Ryle. That's how I'm interpreting it. I don't know. Speak. You're, you're correct. Keep okay. going. <laughs> this, is, this is me wanting you guys to fucking explore. <laughs> first things first, though. Today, since we've already started... Let me at least try with Reverend in the general area, and then we could start talking about leaving. If it should I, work. should we start getting rations and supplies ready? If you guys do that, I will go out with Reverend. Well, that sounds good. All right, and somebody find Vati and tell him not to get a job unless he wants to stay here. I think we need him along with us. Okay. <laughs> Just fucking leave the old man in town. <laughs> he comes back to, to the manor, everyone's gone. Guy? Guys? <laughs> if no anybody's one... ever seen Kennedy, he's like Pierce. Never We're uncultured. Mind. We're all uncultured. So yeah, I'm gonna go out with Reverend to the woods south of Trisander Manor. Um... Mm -hmm. And I'm going to try to get him to do the thing. Which, of course, I haven't been successful with yet, so I'm not entirely... Did we do intelligence checks with this? Oh god, what was it? I think it was nature? No. Nature? Was it nature? Yeah, I thought it was animal handling. It was animal handling. That's right. Yeah, handling. Hmm? Animal handling to train him. So yeah, do do animal handling for me. Come on, Reverend boy. Hey, that's pretty good. Eighteen. Eighteen. So this is a multi-step thing. You were mm -hmm. never able to. I was never able to succeed. 
yeah. to succeed in portraying Training. the right message to mm-hmm. him. But within 18, he kind of... Within 18 and uh, seeing seeing the girl, he kind of understands what you're trying to do. And so I want you... I want you for him. I want you to roll me in uh, in reverence stats. Mm-hmm. What would this be? History? No. Um. Since he's trying to remember it. Just roll me a general uh, perception check with advantage for him. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm being nice. I don't know. I really don't know what stat it would be, but perception he has. He has a good stat on that, so. Perception for him? That's mm-hmm. a 25. Okay. Yeah. So you guys travel around uh, Vandalin looking for. Uh, for any gates, um, Reverend, you see him flying around, but it doesn't seem like he's found any. But he, you finally were able to convey the message to him that you want uh, that you want him to find a gate. But it seems like he needs he needs a more uh, more practice in that. Got it. But he doesn't find anything around Fandolin. Got it. I think that was actually like my first success. Because <laughs> I've just been rolling really terribly when I've tried to do it in the past. Yeah. Uh, it's a multi-step thing. You need mm-hmm. you need more practice with that for mm-hmm. him to be able to uh, constantly do it. Yeah. Um meanwhile, let me let's go back to uh Fandolin. Uh, meanwhile, Bati... Actually, Lilith, what are you doing? Lilith and Blue. Um, Lilith will go to Toblin to get more rations. With Gray. Okay. Blue, what are you doing? Um... Yeah, I can use some rations. Oh, my mouth tastes like iron. Uh, blood. Thank you. Hold up. Blood, blood, blood. All right. For the sake of brevity on this, how many Russians are you getting, or what supplies are you guys wanting to get? Um, let's see. I'd probably like to get nine what? rations. That's f- rations or five silver pieces a piece. It's math. Fuck. Wait a second. Five silver each. Mm-hmm. And the 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 rations are good enough for one day. Only one. Yeah. Shit. Uh. Well, then not that many. Uh. Sure, a lot of rations that you guys ended up not using. I currently have four rations, which is not great. Okay. I have only five. Yeah. I have a lot. Are there any like rations? I got a lot for Reverend. Yeah, but are there like... Oh, there but he ate them all. Never mind. Yeah. Is there any that we can buy that'll last longer? Yeah, these, these are a day. These are the ones that'll last longest for you unless you go out and hunt as you travel. But these rations are the ones that are salted. They they'll only last long oh, time. No, like you they'll, eat them they'll, they'll last you a good day. day. It'll, you know, it'll be enough for a day. If you uh, eat it, it'll last. Yeah, it'll last a day. Oh, I thought you were saying they like they'll they'll go bad after a day. They're good. In, yeah, I finally I finally understand why you're confused. No, they're they're good enough for a day. Okay, yeah, then Lilith will buy nine. So that'll be 45 gold pieces. Huh? No. What? No. No. That's not four. No. Oh. It's five silver. silver. So it's four oh. gold and five silver. 
No, I'm just doing. I'm just doing it with silver. Sorry, I meant to say silver pieces. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I'm just handing him silver. No, go. There's Michelle. I have. I'll take five job. rations. What'd you say, Peggy? Five rations. You'll take five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So two gold, five silver. Cool. Or how you want it, twenty-five silver. Uh, I'm very simple minded. Damn it, I even did it wrong. Anything else you guys want? Um, let's see. Why do I have two? What the, what the fuck? Huh. Alright. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd like potions. You'd like a potion? Yeah, healing potions. From Larthen? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Where's my list? <laughs> oh, where is my list? Uh, oh, God. Did I write them down somewhere? Where did I write them down? I have way too many notebooks. Uh, just normal healing potions? Oh, there we go. Do we have normal healing potions? Or are those, or are, or are all of Barthens like whack? Uh, Barthen still has a lot of whack healing potion. Does he have any normal ones? He has nine of the whack but health potions. Does he have any normal healing potions? No. Shit! Alright, how much is it for each potion? Ten. Ten gold pieces. Ten gold. And how much is that yeah, yeah. in silver? <laughs> One hundred. Okay, so that's your cost. God, Michelle, please. Okay, so that'll be five healing potions. You're doing five. Yeah. How many did I ask? Oh, how much is it for one? Ten. One was ten. Okay. Ten gold piece. Yeah, I'll get five. Okay. So, that'll be 500 silver, or 50 gold pieces. Okay. And that potion, just confirming, is... Uh, um, 2d6 plus 2. I mean, I don't know. That's, a, that's, that's your thing. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm confirming with my own notes. It's oh, 2d6 yeah. plus 2. Okay. Alright, is that all you guys are getting? Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Okay, Vati. Yeah. Where Wait, Blue, did you want buddy? anything? Uh, just the... Yeah, just the rations was fine. Yeah, she got the rations. Okay. Is that all? Yeah, I think so. Mm, yes. All right. Vati, what are you doing? Uh, I'm probably going to go to the Stonehill Inn. Uh, and then do I remember if Lilith's friend um, had a shop or no? Lilith's friend? Yeah, the female. Lenin? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't remember her name. Yeah, Lenin's yeah. the one, the Lion Shield Coaster. Lion Shield Coaster. Yeah, I would go there, Stonehill Inn, and then, uh, probably, Barthen's Provisions. Last. 
Okay. So as you're walking uh, around the town, uh, uh, you see Silda just exiting out of the Stonehill Inn. And uh, he catches your eye and uh, calls out to you, Oh, Fati, um, you're here. Hey. Uh, that's right. Um, I have a quest for you and your party. Oh. Uh, what kind of quest? Well, there have been some... Some recent troubles lately. Uh around in the forests and there have been these creatures that have been disturbing the soil digging underground uh there wasn't much of a description for the creatures well in terms of their name we don't know but the creatures were uh they had multiple legs they had uh bit of a what would you say it an insect like skin uh -huh. and well the guild just wants uh, someone to get rid of them all right you got like a paper or something or do i just tell the group um just go and tell your group. I only currently have one paper that the guild has sent to me, and I need that for my records. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go tell them uh, right now, then. Yeah, if but... you could uh, bring down that beast, uh, come back with some sort of trophy to prove that you have done so, and I'll send it back to the guild. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll let him know. And I'll, I'll start walking away and I'll stop. Oh, by the way, you hiring or anything? Anyone? Are, are you hiring? Like, do you need help with like some task around the office or anything like that? I'm looking for a part-time. Uh, technically, I just hired you as an adventurer, yes? You are an adventurer, right? I guess, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we haven't been out for in a while, so and I'm kind of short on cash and been borrowing from Linmar, but uh okay well you'll be glad to know that hunting this what was it again this request is about this request is about a hundred gold pieces oh nice reward each or damn it he's not there <laughs> yeah, that's 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 Told a you. lot of that's a lot of gold Told just to uh confirm with you it's total total 100 yes oh that's nice well don't think that's i've ever helped that much sum, but for 100 gold pieces i do wonder what kind of creature the guild wants gone yeah well i'll go let him know oh and that's right um yep. he kind of like pulls you in closer just a little bit so, yeah. The girl. Um, if she's going to be traveling with you, just be a little bit careful. The Exousia Inquisition is not to be trifled with. And I'm sure that the circus has their reasons of keeping that girl alive, so they may come back for the girl despite our agreement. Mm. So keep a lookout around you. Officially, I have requested the, uh, I have requested my faction to, to call off the, uh, well, not call off, but to, uh, pardon my request for them to release the girl but they do work under the table sometimes yeah alright yeah definitely keep an eye out alright by, by the way when does this need to be done this hundred gold uh, 
job. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't have the paper with me right now, but the guild did want it to be finished as soon as possible. All right. Okay. Sounds good. I'll let the other others know. Yes, most likely within a week, I believe. Oh, yeah, we've got time. But yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll talk to them, see if they don't got anything else. Uh, but definitely, we'll talk to them about this. Thank you, buddy. Yep. I mean, but I also do like some, like, whenever I, I don't, I don't want to just, like, stay home all day. So, I mean, if uh-huh. we're not doing anything, uh-huh. I, I like to keep myself busy. Right. And so that's why you were trying to go over to the woodworkers this morning. Oh, yeah. They, they, um, they seem to take a liking to me and might start. I did tell them that, uh, I, uh, whenever I go out adventuring, that's my time off. But, um, they seem to like me. Yes, they do. They sang high praises of you and how you were such a charmer, even yeah. though you don't know exactly quite what you're doing with wood and furniture. But they will I mean, take it. And I've, uh, they requested papers for that, so I've been getting that ready. Alrighty. Thank you very much. Talk to you later, sir. You too. Do, 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 do. Walk off. <laughs> All right. So you guys eventually convene back at the Trisander Manor, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, oh. I got rations and healing potions, although unfortunately Barthin does not have any normal healing potions. So we'll have to use the uh, uh, special ones. Yay! I will enjoy watching you take them. I have four. Mm. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Am I roboting still? No, you're fine. Nope. Okay. Um. Peggy. Sorry. Uh, I knew that song. <laughs> Lilith said, um, I have forced more down your throat than I have taken myself. That sounds I, weird. The hell did I walk into? Mm-hmm. Welcome back, Fati. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry, just body saying hey is really funny to me for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I looked around. Nothing else is really hiring at the moment, but uh got got something at the Got something at where? The the woodwork shop. Oh, oh well congratulations. Yeah. Good. Um they don't want want you immediately, do they? No, why? Mm, we're about to leave town. Going oh, south. did uh, what's his name tell you about the thing? Who? That uh, was the most descriptive thing I think I've ever heard from you. Yeah, I'm not good. I'm not good with names. Uh, what's his name again? <laughs> that's that's Jester talking. <laughs> Sildar. So I was gonna say Gundren, but yeah, Sildar. Because uh, I see I see the name. I'm like looking through the the damned list here. I'm like, uh, G- Gundren. Um. Yeah, Sildar was uh, talking to me about uh, some job that the guild wants us to do. Did they tell but, um, you where? Um, it's around the for- like around the forest, and uh, some creatures doing some bad stuff, and uh, hundred gold pieces within the week. So, I mean, if you guys want to do this first, that's fine. Well, this is going to take. <laughs> We were planning on taking the girl home. Oh, well, that's sweet. Yeah. Which, funnily enough, brings us south. So you might be heading towards familiar territory if you decide to come with us. South. You're from the south, aren't you? Um, yeah. Just I haven't been home in a while, so it's uh, a little strange, but. But also, it would be good to. By the way, we're. Home. Where's where's Bell Drop, by the way? Last I saw, Droop and her were talking in the inn. Oh. I haven't really seen them since. Gonna have to leave her a letter then if we're gonna head out now. 
Well, here's the thing. Now we have a decision to make. Are we going to do this before or after? Where, like, how close is the mission that Soldar gave us? DM. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say it to you, but it's also south. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm making it's, it easy for you guys. <laughs> it's also south. Wonderful. We can do it on the way then. Perfect. All right. Oh, also, he said to keep an eye out for that, uh, the group that wanted uh, the little girl. I figured. Said, said that it, they might work under the table a little bit, so. Well, Why does much. it not surprise me? More yeah. than a little bit if I could say anything. All right, well, we are going to leave. Uh... Should we leave tomorrow or t this evening and get an early start? Might be a good uh, start off fresh. All right. Mm, so you got some rations. I may have to go buy some rations. Yeah. Do you need rations, Vati? Well, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. Right. Do you know how to why hide is, Why is Barty the poorest D and D character? <laughs> he lives as he goes, man. And say, <laughs> travel town by town, pl playing music, eating there, sleeping there. There you go. He travels next place. Barty, do you yep. know how to hunt? Um, I did more farming than anything, but uh. I'm Let's in. go hunting, you and I. It'll be a good bonding experience. And you okay. can actually learn to do something. Let's go. I'm in. Wait, before any of you guys go, how many healing potions do you all have? Kittens. Uh, I don't got any. I've got one strange healing potion. I have no, one I've... rainbow swirly potion, one cold resist, acid resist, oil slipperiness, light and resist. Do you, have any... water. Do you have any? Oh, I have brand. Do you have any healing potions? No. Right. Okay. None of you have healing potions. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give each of them two. Huh? I am a hair charity. Just, just for clarification, yeah. guys, because I think um, I haven't made this clear. I'm having a great time just living the the town life. It's it's Linmar who's getting restless, not really Remy. So. No, I yeah, you're good. I I love role playing in the town. It's great, but no, yeah, no, we we do need to get something done. Yeah, no, sorry, Ryle, if that was confusing. <laughs> I don't know, it's fine. Because, I mean, there, there's, there has to be a, uh, you know, it, it's, the world has a different timeline. So, I mean, it's not like always that things are always happening, you know? Yeah. No, definitely not. Yeah, so you're each going to get two sketch healing potions. Who? Each? Huh? Each? Each. Oh, well, thank you. Vati's like, I can sell this for money. <laughs> Healing potion. <laughs> they cost 50 gold pieces. I can resell this. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck my life. I want money. <laughs> well, thank you, Lilith. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, hopefully... They will take them and hopefully never use them, but thank you. Well, if you ever pass out, I will administer them to you. Please just let me die. <laughs> well, well, I've done it a few times so I'm far. not being serious. I'm not being serious. That, that was a joke. I know the deadpan face makes it... Never mind. You could yeah. try smiling more. No, no, please don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's yeah, laughing. Loosen up your cheeks. 
He's left before, Vati. Really? When did, when did that happen? Dear God, that must have been scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I he do left... not know what I did to deserve this. Well, he left when Blue turned um, puffy in the. Well, that's carnival just cage. rude. <laughs> no, I'm I'm saying when there was the... the only time he laughs is when it's at me. Okay, I see how this is. To be perfectly fair, it was kind of funny. He left <laughs> one other time. It was a, uh, I believe it was in that town. We traveled to in the Mirror of Dead Men. We were having dinner, and he laughed then. I think those were the only two times I've ever heard him laugh. Listen, huh. it doesn't really matter when I laugh or when I don't laugh. It kind of is. It's uh, quite a, um, how do you say it, uh, rare Next occasion. Year. You bring out the worst in me, what can I say? I what? Well. <laughs> what, what are you sending me, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> what are you sending me? Don't worry. I don't feel like I deserve oh. that. Uh, Lilith, do you mind sending a letter to Bell Drop to uh, at the library if if she comes back before we do? Uh, I mean, if we're going to head out in the morning, we can... Oh, yeah, that's true. Never mind. Thank you, though. Sure. All right, Lin Linmar, let's go. We'll be back. I'm going to try to get some rations with Fati. Well, I have... play with your bow? <laughs> what did you ask? I mean, you said we're going to go hunting. Do I get to play with your bow? Because I don't, I don't hunt. The fact that you said play with the bow. <laughs> think think about it. What do you think my answer is going to be? I'm, I'm thinking curious. maybe. You are, if anything, an optimist. No, but I will give you a knife, and we'll see how that goes. How am I supposed to do with this? Go up to the fucking deer and be like, hey, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill the deer, and then you get to clean it. <laughs> he gets the dirty work. It sounds like a way to learn how to do things. Eventually, you'll work your way up to using a bow, but... Definitely not mine, if I have anything to say about it. As you guys were talking about this, uh, both of you, give, both of all of you, actually, get a flash in your head about the time you uh, spent in the bathhouse. <laughs> what do you mean? Then, the hell? What? And then the, and then the girl just looks at Vati and the knife. <laughs> what? And then uh, what? Vati and then Mar. You get just flashes of red, and then uh, you see Vati just covered in red. <laughs> Dear God. What, what is happening? I think she said I killed you. No. <laughs> it's like she's portraying. You guys just came from the bath, and now you're getting dirty again. Oh. What? Yeah, probably. By the we way, you want some of this? I'll hand out uh, the kaka. <laughs> Who are you handing it to? A little Is girl. And now I guess I'll imagine like it being me eating it or her eating it or whatever. And be like... It's just a zoomed in picture of a mouth consuming the chocolate. <laughs> 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 she, she, grabs a, she gingerly grabs a tiny piece and puts it in her mouth and you you see her face kind of like like uh like pucker up a little bit but then eventually she like opens her eyes and your eyes are like wide like wow there you go and i'll give her the whole piece have fun little let's go old Mar. congratulations she, she the whole piece and she'll look up at you a little bit and like, am I allowed to eat this? Kind of look at her. Well, not at her, like, yeah, it's okay. Okay, and she eats it. All right. So, Vati and Linmar, oh. the uh, the son and the uh, senile father. Um... While, while, they're doing that, <laughs> while they're doing that, Lilith would want to go visit Linmen. Although gotcha. she would 
try to leave gray with blue <laughs> and be like, I'll be right back, sort of situation. Okay, you leave it with blue. But first off, let me do Ben Mar and Vati. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to let you know I had something. You were hunting in the forest, right? Oh, hell. Emo, emo son and senile father. <laughs> you were hunting in the forest, right? What? Sorry? You were hunting in the forest? Yes. <laughs> son, where'd you go? <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Bread Boys? No. No. Oh my god, you need... You need uh, I None need of to us know your that. references, dude. I need, I need to show you guys this. No, but later. Um, so, Linmar, I want you to roll me survival check to track down any animals. Uh, is, 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 is I'm gonna get help or no? Uh, if Vati wants to help you... Vati <laughs> can help let, me, let me at least hold the bow. No, I'm not going to let you hold the bow. I'm not helping you. <laughs> just the damn bow. Let me just see if I can pull it back. Hold the knife properly first. Oh my god. I know how to hold a damn knife. Don't need your help anyways. I'm just trying to get you out here. He says I know how to hold the damn knife, but he's holding it like Wolverine claws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry, survival. Yeah. <laughs> 24. <laughs> advantage, because it is the forest. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, I don't think I'll roll higher. Oh, God, I rolled the opposite of higher. Uh, 24. Okay. Yeah, you, uh... Let me, let me roll for what you get. I do have, um... My yeah, no. from stuff. Yes. Your favorite terrain. And, uh, where is it? Wait, why is it not here? That's annoying. I'm an outlander, so I'm supposed to get more food when I go hunting. And mm -hmm. I forget exactly how much, but I'll look at it. Right, so you do find a, a wild pig. A pretty big one at that. Hmm. Alright, Vati, sit still. Huh? That's not shush. Quiet. Do you see it? The fuck? Where? Crouch down slowly. It's literally like you think, twenty feet in front of us. You think I can crouch down at my age? Fall down then. <laughs> my damn, my damn knees. Oh, okay. Oh, oh there it is. Do you see it? Okay. No. Oh. You just said you did see it. I know, I'm fucking with you. I see it. I'm fucking my hair. Right, okay. You want to learn to use the bow. I'm not going to let you touch my bow just because of the way you said it. But you watch how I do it, okay? And then I'll help you clean it afterwards. This way sure. you could learn to hunt and then sell the food and then you won't be poor all the time. Maybe. I mean, I also got a job. I mean, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'm gonna do odd end jobs whenever we're here. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna shoot the pig. <laughs> can I? Can I kind of like, kind of, like, um, nudge him a little bit to kind of throw him off? Oh my god! <laughs> roll me. Roll me an attack disadvantage. Oh disadvantage. My fucking god, Fati, you piece of shit. Oh look, there's a there's an acorn right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I have a plus nine. <laughs> Roll a natural one and shoot Fati in the butt. <laughs> ah, my ass. <laughs> that's, that's Sixteen. That's right in the part where you get shot at the ass with the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> do damage. Okay, Let me just see if you kill it with one hit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, everything hurts. Oh, max damage. Uh, fucking um, 
to fucking uh, f- fucking uh, thirteen. <laughs> Jesus. <Okay. Yeah. laughs> yeah, it's it's a one shot, one kill. But you do, you, you did feel. I was aiming. I was oh, aiming for the heart, and it hit it in the butt. You aim, you aim for the heart, but you ended up shooting it shooting it right in the eye. Oh, nice hit, Lenmar. Get yes. over there. Do you know how much more painful that was for the creature? Hmm? That's dead already, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, right. let's go. Let's see how big this bitch is. Well, uh, okay. Now, first of all, hold the knife the other way. Not no. Over in. <laughs> oh my. Okay. Are you no, left handed or right handed? I'm right handed. Who the hell's left handed? Then why is it in your left hand? There you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Justin. <laughs> what is this in your <laughs> Not a fucking idiot. <laughs> I called it a Wolverine style. <laughs> All right. Where'd I cut it? From the belly? Do you want. <sighs> Fine. I'll... Just give me the knife. Oh, well, let me do something. Okay. I'll take do, all the do damn it. fun. God, I'll uh, try to show him how to properly do all it. All right, Vati, roll me survival check with Shank. advantage. <laughs> with advantage. With advantage, okay. Please roll low. <laughs> 17. Okay, okay. It's not too bad. So what happens is, uh, Linmar, uh, they're <laughs> teaching Vati. Uh, how to skin the pig, but it eventually turns into uh, that Patrick Swayze moment where you know, okay, you guys won't know that. No, I um, do. I know. Ghost. You, it turns. It turns into that where Linmar, you're basically holding. You might as well be holding a knife yourself because Vati is just holding it limply, and you're you're the one performing most of the. Uh, most of the action. I but know eventually you, want to you, do, this, you, do. you need to stop fighting me, okay? I know what I'm doing. Don't touch my damn hand like that. <laughs> you literally touch me every time you. <laughs> ah, yes, that jester. Lenmar's <laughs> <laughs> shirtless behind me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah you eventually do prepare the whole pig and uh get it ready for your rations there we go okay that's not terribly done yeah you have you have the parts that you're putting up for rations uh cooked and salted while you're leaving the other parts to be dried out in the sun mm-hmm. Wonderful. Oh, right. okay. well, that was fun, Linmar. It was an event that happened. Yeah, it's called fun. Sure, let's, let's call it that. Did you learn anything? Yep, shoot the damn thing until it's dead and then uh, skin the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> then sell it. Make some money. <laughs> Sometimes when I speak to you, I feel like I'm taking damage. <laughs> psychic damage. Full for how much the stupidity affects you. Full how much psychic damage you take from body stupidity. Oh god, I love body so much. <laughs> it's the emo son versus the senile father. <laughs> should that should we call the session that emo son yeah. senile father? Emo son and senile father. <laughs> Part time job. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> How right. many rations do we get out of it? Uh, or do we still need to finish making them? See, the, the ones that you get, uh, that you prepare immediately, mm-hmm. I'll roll for it. Or I was going to say we could sell it and, uh, sell and get the money and then just get, use the money for rations. It's fresh meat. 